So about a week ago, I bought this enclosed trailer and I added a solar power system inside. We have lithium iron phosphate, 4.8 kilowatt hours. We have an inverter charger or all-in-one system with an AC charger and transfer switch. Then we have two wires that come down from the solar array. And then we have three conductors that feed into this small panel. And this panel feeds into this surge strip, light, and USB charger. And this panel is designed for use with split phase output, but this only outputs single phase. So what I did is I connected the two bus bars, so we only have single phase output, but for all of these. And the battery we're using is four Battleborns in series. I was planning on using a big battery pack, but it started leaking electrolyte on me. And this is a high vibrational environment, so I only want batteries that I can trust. And despite me cutting this one open and stress testing these multiple occasions, none of these have ever died. They always work. So I'm sticking with these for this project. And I built this whole system in about two hours. And the trailer will serve as a test bed for large solar inverters. This is the new LV6548. And this inverter can output 6.5 kilowatts. And I only have 400 watts of solar panels connected, but this can handle 8,000 watts. So this is some serious power. I could fill up this whole trailer with batteries and then park it next to a ground mounted solar panel array. And this could do everything. This is complete overkill for this trailer. And these are super cheap. These are probably gonna be out of stock in the next week. And if you compare it to the previous generation LV5048, this is 30 pounds lighter and it's the same price. And you can put these units into parallel and power anything you want. And I'm actually charging an EcoFlow Delta because I use this to power my heat gun and other tools while building this system. And right now the inverter charger is charging up the batteries and everything works flawlessly. It only took me about one minute to program this new inverter. I just had to set the low voltage cutoff to 48 volts and that's pretty much it. And I wanted to put this system at first in the front of the vehicle, but I want to carry long pieces of wood and metal so I figured that that would be illogical. So I tucked it up against the wall. I should also mention that this box is secured to the ground with screws and washers. And I mounted these solar panels onto two steel beams that I connected to the crossbars of the roof. And the cables of the solar panels are run through a cable entry gland, and I use the turnabon tape to seal the hole. And I could add another solar panel, but I'm using it for testing. In a few months, I'll add another solar panel, and we'll have 600 watts instead of 400. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to have a blueprint on my website with a picture in high definition so you can follow along and build this if you want. And for the future, we're going to swap out this inverter with other inverters to test them long term. And the plan is to add an air conditioner to the system and then run it when it's 120 degrees outside. I'm also going to add a ground mount array that I can plug into this trailer. And then when I want to use this trailer to move things or whatever, I can unplug it real quick and then hit the road. And this system for its output is the cheapest around except for the batteries. I know a lot of people cannot afford the Battleborn, so if you want to buy EVE cells, you could build this system for a fraction of the price. But I will also have those options listed below and on my website. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys liked the video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.